This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost and some exclusive deals over at btech.com. Hey guys, welcome to BTech. It is Basil here with six flagship phones and six ice cubes. Yes, ice cubes. The ice cubes are gonna help us determine which flagship phone gets the hottest. This is one of your most asked questions. How will the ice cubes help? Well, ice melts. We're inspired by a video made by Qualcomm a couple of years back where they melted butter on a couple of competing processes, their own included, to see which stayed the coolest. In the same vein, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get an Apple iPhone 5S from the iOS camp. We're gonna get a Nokia Lumia 930 from the Windows phone camp. And from the Android camp, we've got an HTC C1 M8, an LG G3, a Samsung Galaxy S5, and a Sony Xperia Z2. Now we're not gonna do anything like record 4K because all of them can't record 4K. And um, what we're gonna do is run the exact same benchmarking test on all six devices, after which we'll run a 30 minute YouTube video and then leave them in a default state with the home screens active. In addition to that, what we have done is hard reset all of them, input one email address, left background syncing on default, and the only things going on in the background are the default processors. That should really put them all on an even footing in terms of heat. So which phone melted the ice cube first? Well, it was the Samsung Galaxy S5, but there's a caveat here. The Samsung Galaxy S5 screen interacted with the ice cube. The electrical current moved things around on the screen. It also then detected it got wet, deactivated the screen completely from touch input, and all we could do was press a home button to take us to our vibrant, bright home screen. That home screen was a lot brighter than the video we were playing on the other phones, which might have potentially made it a little bit warmer, but we can't say that for sure. So we're gonna have to discount the Galaxy S5 from this test to keep things fair. The next phone that melted the ice cube was the Sony Xperia Z2. The Xperia Z2 has been the subject of debate surrounding this heating issue based on the fact that 4K video overheats the phone, augmented reality has overheated the phone for us at least. So what this means is in day-to-day -day use, it also probably will get a little bit hotter than the competition. The metal frame will also maybe conduct heat quite well too. That said, it doesn't get uncomfortable to use unless you are doing something like that recording a 4K video. The next phone that melted the ice cube was the LG G3 and it's unsurprising with all those pixels it's pushing, that Quad HD display takes a lot of power from that processor even though it is exactly the same Snapdragon 801 that is in the Sony Xperia Z2. Next up, it's our Windows phone in third place, the Nokia Lumia 9. 30. Running a more efficient operating system and with a slightly older chipset, we weren't sure how this phone would fare, but it's clearly cooler than most of the Android competition. In second place, it's the HTC One M8, and we were actually quite surprised by this. With that all metal body, we thought that it would conduct heat pretty well. The reality is, it stayed cooler than any of the other Android phones, including the plastic LG G3 and Samsung Galaxy S5, leaving our winner, the iPhone 5S, to take the crown. And it's unsurprising. The iPhone 5S, first of all, runs with a dual core processor. It's got an incredibly efficient operating system, which is why it can run with that lower powered processor. On top of that, the screen is smaller and will generate less heat. So what have we found from this? Well, we found pretty much that the iPhone 5S is the coolest cat in the bunch. The HTC One M8 is the coolest Android, and the Nokia Lumia 930 runs in cooler than most of the Android competition, but not quite all. Hopefully you've enjoyed our slightly off the wall way of answering one of your most asked questions. If you have, make sure you click that like button. If you like BTEC in general, click subscribe and head over to BTEC.com. That's where you can find the latest in smartphones, tablets, smart gadgets, and some awesome deals as well. Thanks for watching. At the top of the screen is where you can find three hand-picked videos for your viewing pleasure. On the left is where you can subscribe and on the right hand side you can find some exclusive deals if you head over to btext.com.